In Fox 4 Health, you may think that vision problems always lie in the eye. Not so. An app created in the Metro could help little ones with a vision problem in the brain. That was a great look, too, by the way. Danny Robeson captures a lot of hearts, but it can be hard for the two-year-old to capture an image of hearts or other things in his brain. Danny's vision trouble isn't in his eyes. It's actually um, in his brain, so his, the information when it goes in through his, his brain isn't able to make sense of what it is that he's seeing. It's called cortical visual impairment, or CVI. It results from a brain abnormality. Danny has cerebral palsy. CVI sometimes goes along with that. The good news? What it turns out is that over time with certain visual stimulations, you can actually get vision back. Brent Kevern is with Johnson County-based Life Science Technologies. He developed an iPad app at the urging of a niece in Michigan who teaches visually impaired kids. The app is being tested there and at Kansas City's Children's Center for the Visually Impaired. Danny is exposed to images with increasing complexity. The goal? To rewire the brain to accept the signals. What makes this app different from others for CVI is that it keeps track of Danny's eye movement. The amount of time that he spent looking at the system. So his teacher and his mom can see what's working and build exercises from that. I've never seen this one. That's Early reports are encouraging. Some of the uh, parents that have children in the program are actually saying that their children are uh, able to identify their faces for the very first time. My hope is that Danny has an education and a life experience like any other child would have. With his brain being able to absorb all that he sees. The earlier children get help for cortical visual impairment, the better. Kevin says the app could be used in babies as young as three to six months old. Marilyn McCain, Fox 4 News, working for you.